I want to show you using Excel how you can create what's referred to as a synthetic call option. So let me start here by looking at this graph here, which is um, the payoff for a long position in a stock. And we're going to assume that uh, you paid $20 for it. And so the worst that can happen is it goes to zero and you lose $20 per share. And there's no limit to how much money you could make because the stock could go up to any amount. The problem with the long stock position is this downside position. You know, you can lose, although it's a limited amount because the worst that can happen is the price of the stock goes to zero, you can still lose a pretty substantial amount of money. What you'd like to do, ideally, is get a payoff picture that looks something like this. A call option. In the case of a call option, you have limited downside risk and it's limited to the premium you paid for the option, but you still have the upside potential. So how can we get this payoff picture without buying a call option because we actually already own the stock. So let's go back to our, our um, stock position, right? So we'd like to limit that downside risk. So right here, I have the payoffs for several different positions. I have the payoff for a long call, which we looked at. I have a payoff for long stock position where we buy at 20 and we've looked at that payoff position. I also have the payoff for a long position in a put option that also has a strike price of 20. So we're going to use the same strike price for the call and for the put as well as for the buy price of the stock. It just makes the picture easier to see. So to create a long, to create a synthetic call, we take our long stock position and we add to it a long position in the put. So let's go back and look at the graph again here. And if we look at a long put position along with the stock, we can see that when the stock goes down in value, what happens? The put makes money. So for every dollar it falls below 20, you make a dollar from the put, you lose a dollar from the long stock position. If the stock were to go up in value, if the price were to go up, what would happen? You just lose the premium here. That's why this put position flattens out. And what happens? You still have the potential to make some money. So when you do that, and let's just take a look, basically I'm just adding this position to this position. So here you're losing $20, but because of the put, you're able to buy at zero and sell at 20 minus the three dollar premium so you lose three dollars so you can see that you're making money here up until you get to a price of essentially zero and uh, actually a price of 20 for the stock then you simply lose the premium here and what does this do this flattens out the downside while leaving the upside um, potential. So let's see what that looks like when we graph it. So I'm going to get rid of this long stock and long put position and I'm going to show you the synthetic call position and what does that look like? That looks like the payoff for a call option. So if you own the stock and you don't want to sell it, you can create this call payoff picture by simply adding a long put position. So this is a nice way to do it. Excel is a good way to do it because you can put in all the payoffs here. And so let me just recap. The payoff for a long stock position, I'm sorry, for a long call position is going to be the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price. So the stock price is in B7, it's going to be minus D dollar sign 3, so we can copy it down and that doesn't uh, move from this D3 position, or 0, because 
if the option is out of the money, if the call is out of the money, you just throw it away. And then we're going to subtract out the premium. The long stock position payoff is simply going to be the price of the stock minus the price paid for the stock, which we said was 20. So we're just going to use that same uh, position of D3 here. And you can see that when the price gets to 20, you just break even, right? Bought it at 20, sell it at 20, you break even. If it goes up to 40, you make $20. The long put position is going to be the maximum of the exercise price, which right here is an E3. Okay, and I put a dollar sign in here. I don't know how well you can see that up here. Minus the stock price, which is in B7, right? This is the sell price. This would be the buy price or zero. Again, if it's out of the money, you just throw it away. Minus the exercise, uh, I'm sorry, minus the premium. So your long or your synthetic call position is just going to be this plus this, tw minus 20 plus 17 is minus 3, minus 18 plus 15 is minus 3. And so you can use these to see the payoffs, and you can also graph the um, uh, payoffs as well. And you would graph these by simply highlighting these cells, and then going to Insert, and I like to pick Recommended Chart. Now you have to kind of know what the payoff looks like, it's going to be this one. This is going to be the this is the long stock position. This is the long put position. The uh, this one here, hard to see, is the long call position. And I'm not going to click OK because I already have it graphed. But you can do that, and then you can choose what to look at. If you hit this, you can filter this. If you filter this. You can choose to look only at the synthetic call. You could look at the synthetic call with the stock. So you can see the how the payoff has changed. You can look at the long call, long put position, etc. So it gives you an opportunity to visualize exactly what is going on here um, with this payoff here. So I hope that's helpful, and I hope um, you can take advantage of Excel in uh, creating the payoffs and creating the graphs, which will help you to visualize exactly what is going on here.